Hey, welcome back. This is Upgood, and we're continuing. I decided to skip the whole um, part of the video, or the whole video, where he adds uh, condensation because um, you aren't you aren't going to typically see condensation on a glass of coffee. Not that it never happens, but um, I I just I don't know. I didn't want to bother with it. Um, he wanted to do it. Uh, Andrew Price wanted to do it because um, it shows you a little bit about UV unwrapping and um, what he did is he unwrapped the the coffee mug and um, because of the way I kind of screwed up on my coffee mug I got like like polygons everywhere you know it's all kind of weird and I don't know I'm doing an unwrap on that will kind of make that kind of a nightmare although we did talk about a add-on that's not part of blender called uv squares which kind of squares off your uvs i guess and um but i wouldn't be able to do that without like remodeling the whole stupid cup and um although i might end up later um like redoing the whole tutorial in fact maybe doing it a number of times to make sure that uh you know that I can get it that I got it down or whatever um, I just didn't feel like you know doing it and then I almost didn't feel like doing like the rest of this here because there's uh, four more parts and um, the videos are um, actually there's more than four parts there's six more parts great um, 10 minutes 48 seconds, 16 minutes 21 seconds, 23 minutes 18 seconds, 14 minutes 53 seconds, 17 minutes 7 seconds, and 9 minutes and 3 seconds. And uh, so yeah, there's uh, six parts there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired of, of doing this sort of. Not that I never want to continue doing, you know, uh, work in learn blender and stuff, but um, even though this is supposedly a beginner and it does take you from nothing to you know at you know learning stuff, um, some of it is kind of semi advanced or not really advanced, but there's a lot of involved with it. So it's like you know, it's not something that you can do really quickly. Um, so it's a good, it's still a good set of tutorials though. And um, I'm still thinking about going ahead and, and doing, you know, the, like the rest of this tutorial. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this next one, which is composition, which I guess means you're going to add the, the donut back in and, and you're going to have the table and all that goofy stuff. So let's, uh, I'll, I'll see what I can see here. So let me bring back my not sprinkles, my environment. Where is where is the donut? Oh, donuts up here. There we go. There's my donut right there, intersecting. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, grab that. And actually, I'm just going to move it by itself like that. And we're going to move this back here. Like that. Actually, let's move this back here. Something like that. I'm going to save this. Actually, I want to do something here. And that is, 
I'm still curious. Maybe it's I don't know. Maybe some sort of scaling thing. I'm curious what the uh, what these uh, hmm. move selected items. Oh, I see. So the axis, right? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. Let's check out what it looks like here in the preview render here. Ooh, look at that. Coffee and a donut. And my donut, select my donut, and remove that. That's not what I was trying to do. Oh, I see. Yeah, I get it. I don't know how to flatten that. I'd like to flatten the bottom of the mesh to a. Actually, I think what I could do. I don't know if I want to do that though. I'd like to actually sort of flatten that out. I'm not really sure how to do that. Anyways. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Is this, this is kind of floating though, isn't it? So look at that. This, um, actually, let's, okay, let's try that. There's actually no shadows on there, uh, right now. I'm not sure what to do, how to change that to, I don't know, it's probably something to do with scene or something. I, I forget. It doesn't really matter. See, the thing that gets me is how did I, how did the, um, how did it end up like getting like all weird and kind of bumpy? I know I got bumpy, but I don't get how come. Here, let's just turn snapping on. And let's just kind of. That's my. Grab the. No. Grab. Do this.
Yeah, I don't get. I mean, I don't understand how come. Alright, fine. What if I, let's see, if I did the rotation, do something here. Red, green, and blue. Let's see something here. If I make this something like that. What if I just move this back up here just a tad? Control. Something like that. Could I make the case that no? Rotate. I guess that's the best I could get it, huh? I mean, yeah, I don't know, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. How long have I, how long have I been kind of screwing? Where? Come on. Already 12 minutes here.
So, whoops. Uh, you, don't, you don't even know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so i just been watching the video and listening to it. You can't hear it because I got the audio turned off and the the to, the uh, video is actually on another screen. So now I have to rewind it because he's talking about. Where is the camera? That's where it is. That's the camera. Interesting. Table. I see. Okay, so the camera is fine.
Um, while I'm doing this, basically, um, he's talking about composition, and he said the aspect ratio kind of odd. He was just saying that uh, it kind of doesn't make sense to be a widescreen because it's an image, and you know, you make things not. He's talking about how the. Um... Let's see something here. Anyways, he's talking about how the. Um... It kind of like doesn't take up all the space like it should. Here, let's do something here. And, uh. Oh, this is cool. I can kind of see where it kind of exits. Like that. And then, of course. That was a mistake. Just because it's parented to the thing. And honestly, I like keeping my, my widescreen, so... That's alright, though. And actually, though, you can take this and make it closer to the camera like that. Actually, you can do this thing here where it's sort of like this, and kind of like that. Actually, I don't know. Kind of doesn't matter here. There. Okay, that's cool. I like it this ways and I'm gonna leave it this ways. Oh this so far. What's kind of interesting here is right at the end he said you got a model plate. Well, uh, it's you know for the donut, right? It so happens that I do have a plate, but not for specifically for the donut. And um, we're hitting 25 minutes here, but that's okay. Um, Because, um, what I'm going to do here is, uh, wait, wait, okay. actually let's, uh, do that, rotate it. There we go. Takes everything with it. There. That. Okay. So he says the model plate. And I have just the plate, which is my first saucer. In fact, let's see if I can... 
presumably I still kept it, so the socks are old here. And let's, we're going to do this, let's do this. If you notice, my old saucer is like that, and let's just go over to, wait a second. That's weird. Oh, I see. That's not weird. I see. I see. That's fine. We want to do it here is this saucer and I want to go over my material real quick before I do anything and I guess the transmission right oh that's because it's the glass texture um, okay so okay we'll leave that but what I will do instead is I actually want to duplicate the glass texture. I don't remember how to do that though. Um New material. Oh. So let's do something here. Cup. Cup is using glass. That's also using glass. This is using glass point one. So good. Good, good, good. So let's turn the transmission back down to zero. Actually, I'm kind of messing with the composition because I had a composition here and I should have done that. That actually, I don't care if the if it's slanted. I'm just gonna leave it like that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna save it, and then I'm going to get out of that. And I'm going to take the camera and kind of eat that. Okay, so this is pretty shiny. What has it look like in there? Is it pretty shiny cycles? Yeah, it's like kind of a little too shiny, I think. Um, let's see, roughness. Actually, it's roughness that I actually want. Uh, let's go. Let's make it a little eggshellish. Just a little bit. I don't really want to. We want it to be more in the yellow. Yeah, actually, let's. There we go. Anyways, um. So what I want on here is I want rock where not clear coat reference. Where's the base color subsurface? Uh, metallic specular. There we go. Roughness. The more rough it gets, the less like something like that maybe. Let's see what this looks like in the in that. Okay. Specular. Actually, let's turn the roughness all the way down. And then let's mess with the specular here. We don't want it to be nothing. We want it to be something. Okay, let's take uh, roughness and let's, let's just tweak the roughness just a little bit. 
there. Something like that. I think that's what I'm going to leave it as. And then actually, um, there's one more thing that I want to do here. And that is... Uh, what do we want here? Let's see if we can go to edit mode here. And actually, I like how that turned out now. So maybe the idea is that the saucer is actually another saucer. I don't know. Actually, let's go ahead and do a duplicate of saucer old. So let's go ahead and Make a control now shift D. Z. I'm gonna move it off there. So let's make that saucer old. And this one, let's make this guy. small plate that and then I can go ahead and go into edit mode and then I can take out uh, I want to dissolve the edges so let's grab right. actually I wonder if I can yeah Let's see if I can dissolve edges. And let's see what it kind of looks like rendered. Well, dang. Get out of edit mode. Does that look like it's been warped? That's interesting. Huh, it looks like it's been flattened along the edge here. Why is that? Holy cow. That's weird. I don't know what, how that happened, but uh, it happened. Let's see something here. That. That's quite interesting. How in the world? Notice it's how big and flat that is. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's see what would happen if I duplicated it. Um, 
control R. There we go. Okay. Now, the only question is how do I grab this? I guess I can grab this edge here. Nope. This edge right here. Let's see if I can grab it. Okay, let's do something here. Let's do something here. Instead of grabbing it, let's do something here. Alt, scale it. Hmm. Bad. Wait a second. Doesn't look bad at all. Hmm. Let's do a let's do this. And let's go ahead and grab it and shift Z just so we can pull that back here. that. Let's do that. Grab shift Z just so. Grab shift Z like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, wait a second here. I see. And let's go ahead and take this and that. Grab Shift Z. Something like that. Now. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's turn the last frame off. Let's do that though. Very interesting. Do that. Let's uh, grab it in the Z and let's, whoops, uh, just a hair. Let's see how that looks. And this one, I'm gonna grab the Z just a touch.
All right, so let's go ahead and go back to render view. It's just gonna look weird. It might look weird. I'll leave it. This is cool. And I've taken too much time on this video. And so thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.